guys, it's Shivangi. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a quick one. I actually got a lot of requests and questions from you guys about how to wear false lashes. Now, I always do it off camera because I tend to keep the mirror really close to my face whenever I'm applying false lashes. So that's why I don't show you the application bit. But in today's video, I'm going to tell you all the do's and don'ts uh, if you are a beginner at wearing false lashes. Now, one thing I can tell you for sure, it took me as well a lot of practice to nail the perfect technique of applying false lashes and even then there are days when my lashes are not in place or you know they tend to lift and stuff from places it is a combination of trial and error and of course practice so I am going to try and explain it to you in the easiest way possible there are not a lot of things which I'm using today there's just few things but I'll still put those links in the description box below and I'll also mention my lip color in the description box so definitely check out the description box and now let's just dive into the video the first thing that you need is a pair of false lashes I'm using Rufa Beauty's Sasha lashes I'll link them below and uh, this is an old pair guys but I'm going to tell you what to do when you have like a new pair of false lashes and for that you will need this kind of a scissor I'm not going to do any sort of cutting but I'm going to show you what you need to do with a new pair of lashes next thing that you need is a tweezer a normal eyebrow teaser would do and the last thing that you need is a lash glue. I'll be using pack lash glue. Again, I'm going to link it below. The first thing that you need to do when you buy a new pair of false lashes is trim them according to the size of your eyelid. I'll give you a closer look of the false lash and basically tell you what that means. This is a false lash which has already been trimmed and it has this smaller side which goes in the inner corner of the eyelid and it has this longer side which goes to the outer corner of the eyelid. When you receive new lashes, you've got these smaller hair on both sides of the band. So you need to take out the lash, you need to apply it on your eyelid without any glue just to measure how long is your lash line. So the hair which are sticking out of your lash line are the ones that you need to cut from the band be very careful while doing it do it one by one just keep the right lash on the right side and left lash on the left side because i did this mistake once both the lashes ended up being for just one side so you have to be careful while doing that measure take it out chop off the excess length and that's all that you need to do one by one now the second mistake which you can do is applying the false lashes as it is without using any glue i do know that a lot of people think that because the false lashes come like this like they are stuck on to the package they can just use it as it is because it of course has some glue right that's why it's sticking on to it but you do require glue to apply false lashes guys they're not gonna stay on your eyelid if you don't use glue glue on your false lashes. Alright, so this is your lash band. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply one thin layer of glue on the band and just a little extra on the corners of the lash band. You can take a little more glue for that and apply it just on the two corners. Another mistake which you should completely avoid is immediately applying the lash after putting on the glue. You should give the glue 5 to 10 seconds to dry up a little bit so that it can hold on to your lash line well. If you apply it immediately, it is going to be slippery and wet and it is not going to stick. It's been about 5 to 10 seconds. I know a little bit of glue is still visible, but it's okay. The glue dries down transparent, so you don't have to worry about the glue getting on your eyelid. You can always fix that later. First thing to keep in mind is your tweezer should hold the false lash from the center, not right, not left, exactly on the center, because that is where we're going to stick the false lash first, the center of the lash line. Now, you hold the tweezer like this upside down keep a mirror really close to your face and place it in the center of your lash line really close to your lash line basically and then start adjusting it I don't adjust it with the tweezer always because I just find it a little uncomfortable I use my fingers 
you got to keep adjusting it you got to keep pressing it a little bit Once you've adjusted the false lash band on your lash line, you take any brush which has a thin handle and press the false lash on your lash line. Like this. And you should also press it from the bottom and then from the top to ensure that it is, you know, stuck to your lash line properly. And that's it actually, the lashes are on. Now one of the most common things which happens a lot with me, when I close my eyes, you can see some glue or eyeshadow on top of the false lashes. So to fix that, now there's something which I keep forgetting, I should also follow this, but I'm going to tell you. So to fix that, you just take any sketch liner and you kind of apply the sketch liner on top of your lashes and lash band if you're wearing an eyeliner then great you don't have to worry about it getting on your eyelid but if you're not then be a little careful and just apply it on the lash band and the lashes and that's it guys the last thing that you can do is apply a bit of mascara to you know merge your original lashes with the false lashes i usually apply mascara before putting on the false lashes because i don't like when accidentally false lashes also clump up because of the mascara so i always apply the mascara first and then i proceed with the application of false lashes but you can do either way you can either apply it before or after it doesn't really matter a lot of people actually prefer to apply it after if you're sure your mascara is not going to clump then definitely apply it after but i don't take that risk just letting you know one more thing to keep in mind is if your false slash lifts from your lash line and it happens the most from the inner corner of your lash line then you will definitely have to take out the whole thing and apply it again you cannot do a glue touch up with your false lashes because if you try to apply the glue just on that side you're going to ruin your eyeshadow or even if you're not wearing any eyeshadow then the glue is going to come on top of your eyelid and that is not going to look nice so if it lifts take it out again, apply the glue again and repeat the same process again. I know it sounds a little tedious but it is how it is guys unfortunately. And that's it with that we've come to an end of this video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it and you could properly understand what I was trying to make you understand. With me it is very difficult uh, when I'm doing something no. I don't even realize what I'm talking about. So sometimes to explain something to you and at the same time to do that thing becomes difficult for me. I hope it was not confusing this video was not confusing let me know in the comment section below also just practice guys uh if you're at home and if you've got some spare time just get a pair of false lashes and practice applying it on your lashes before you actually do it on an occasion it's always better to practice especially if you're a beginner also if you're not following me on instagram then ensure that you do i keep posting some makeup related updates on my instagram handle i leave all the links in the pinned comment of the comment section below so check it out and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channels already then please subscribe to our channels we've got three channels we've got a vlogging channel a bengali channel and this channel of course those links are going to be in the pinned comment as well so definitely check out our content and if you like what you see then please hit subscribe that's it from me for today guys stay safe and take care of yourself i shall see you in the next one Bye bye Mwah.